Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ace here, and my god, did a lot of information come out today. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get done everything I want to get done today. I'm probably going to have to split this up into two videos, just because there's so much news to cover. Oh, and I wanted to write the next chapter of the Adventures in Dragon, since it's been like a fucking week since I did. Oh, can't do any work. Anyway, so much shit going on, let's just get into this. Right off the bat, uh... A trailer for Shulk being in Super Smash Bros. was revealed. I'm guessing this was PAX. Maybe it wasn't PAX. I don't know. It was on Game Explainer, as I call him, Game Complains channel on YouTube. Um, uh, whatever. I really don't want to spend too much time on that. I mean, due to that leak, which... It's looking more like it's actually real, which is kind of bullshit, but whatever. Um, at the same time, I won't use Shulk. I really... I don't hate him, but I really don't care for him at the same time, so... Shulk is Shulk, and that's it, I guess. Uh, but let's move on to another topic here. And by the way, this is probably going to be a discussion slash rant video, and this will be like part one and part two. Part one is right now. So let's get into the main issue that Nintendo revealed. A brand new 3DS model. Now, this isn't like going from the 3DS to the XL. And this is not the actual next generation handheld from Nintendo. It's in between. It's the, and it's called New Nintendo 3DS model and New Nintendo 3DS XL. Now, this is bullshit. This is, I guess, Nintendo, whenever they do something good, they have to do something bad to balance it out. Maybe they love having things in balance. I don't know. But there's no need for this comes out in Japan, I believe, this year, but it comes into North America and Europe next year at some point. It's probably going to be like 200 bucks or something, maybe 250 And it's basically, and you're wondering, well, why should I care? I'm not going to get it or whatever, uh, and that's fair, but let me just tell you, there are differences. This is like the 3DS 2.0, basically. People say, we want a 3DS with a second analog stick or a second stick. Poof, you get one, even though it, when you see the picture, or you're probably seeing it now, actually, it's it's right above the X button and Y button, and it's like a little itty-bitty teeny button. And so apparently this new 3DS, and what's with Nintendo and names these days with consoles? I mean, the original Wii was fine, it was something new, but then you went Wii U, and then you, it's like you took the new Super Mario Bros. formula and you did that with the 3DS, because now you call it new Nintendo 3DS. What's going to happen in a few years when people are going to be like, uh, the next, the next, or next generation of Nintendo handheld comes out. It's like, what the hell? Uh, but anyway, apparently it has more power than the original 3DS and the 3DS XL. Uh, rumor states that it's, uh, what do you call it? Just under the power of the PS3 and 360 or something. Um, so it, it's a bu boost in power. Apparently the 3D effect is boosted. I'm a big fan of the 3D effect, but I don't know what they mean. It, they, in the trailer, it kind of looked like you could actually look at the screen from any angle, and it would be 3D. Um, but it was hard to tell, really. So if that's the case, that's kind of cool, actually, though, because you could actually have people watching over your shoulder, you playing uh, in 3D instead of having to turn it off. But the design is kind of bleh. Uh, it has better battery life, which is a good thing, I guess. But still, why? Why did you do this now, Nintendo? Why? Do you expect people to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars every fucking year on you? No. Games is one thing, but, like, you just cut off the 3DS. The 3DS has been dominant for the past few years. The 3DS original and the XL still has, like, another two years in it or so life left in it. This shouldn't have happened at all until the next handheld, or, yeah, the next actual new handheld, which should have been, like, in two years or something. Am I going to get this? I don't fucking know. I don't have the money for it. And then when I get into the other in, uh, thing that's kind of bullshit about this, but first, let's get on to the next topic. Xenoblade Chronicles, the Wii game, announced as an exclusive to the new 3DS system. That's right. The 3DS, the new Nintendo 3DS, is getting its own exclusive 3DS games. So it's not like, oh yeah, this uh, you know this game that's on the 3DS and 3DS XL or whatever, oh yeah, that doesn't work on this. You have to 
or other way around actually. It's if you, it's like oh this game's to Nintendo 3DS or new Nintendo 3DS, but it won't work on your 3DS. So it's like oh, what are you doing? Uh, and then Nintendo says more exclusive titles are coming and are being planned for the new Nintendo 3DS system. Why? 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 That's just stupid. Um. Uh, I. Uh, I don't know what else to get into about that. Um, oh yeah, then there was the rumor that the Nintendo, the new Nintendo 3DS doubles RAM and nearly doubles the VRAM. Uh, faster CPU, better 3D screen technology, micro SD slot instead of normal SD or sized SD slot, NFC support, two circle pads instead of one, new buttons, ZR and ZL. Uh, uh, whatever. I don't even want to talk about that anymore. Let's get on to a bit of a positive thing, which was that Bayonetta 2 for the Wii U, a little bit of Wii U news here, has a release date for North America, which is October 24th. So that's uh, that's not too bad, a week before Halloween. Uh, and so we got Smash Bros. 3DS at the beginning of October and Bayonetta 2 at the end. Sounds good. Uh, let's move on to the next topic here. The Amiibos. The range uh, is now confirmed, like the character roster, at least for now, uh, as well as the price. They will be $13, $12.99 to be exact, and the only ones you can choose from at this current time, like when they launch, will be Mario, uh, Peach, uh, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Link, Fox, Samus, Wii Fit Trainer, Villager, Pikachu, Kirby, and Marth. I'm surprised there's no Luigi there, since you got Mario, but whatever. Uh, now for me, if I get one, it'll probably be Fox, to be brutally honest. Uh, maybe the Link, maybe the Samus one, but Fox would probably be the first one I'd get. Um, so I guess that's kind of good news. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, one other thing I forgot to mention with the new 3DS, great, we're right back on topic with this, is apparently the, uh, <laughs> the internet on it has filters, like parental controls, uh, so you have to pay 30 cents, a one-time payment of 30 cents, with a credit card to unlock basically the full internet. I guess it's to stop kids from going on porn sites. It, it's just that simple. But <laughs> it's like, wow, really? Uh, Nintendo, did you not learn a damn thing about how uh, apparently if your Wii U user base is like 18 year olds and up, like what the hell? Uh, <laughs> but whatever. Um, and I already mentioned it that the new 3DS was coming to 2015 to North America. I guess that's all I'm going to say in this part one video. Part two video of this rant, discussion, video, whatever. Coming up. See you soon.